Well, thanks for joining us. This is a quick update. The Basic Education Funding Commission just met, approved their recommendations, the report. We're here with Representative Mike Burr, and uh, we're very excited. So I actually just want to throw it out to you uh, quickly. What are your thoughts on the report? Uh, what's the most important thing that came out of it today? This is 12 months of work, so thank you and congrats on that. Um, I'll just throw it right off to you, Representative. Well, John, I mean, a number of things. You know, each of us as 15 members have pulled away our own things that we think um, are helpful. And as you know, your work here in the Capitol, to have 15 members uh, from, you know, the executive branch as well as the legislative branch, bipartisan, sit in rooms and work together for 12 months and actually produce a, a product is, should say a lot. It should make Pennsylvania recognize that we all collectively understand that what we have been doing, throwing money at zip codes rather than students, has not worked. Uh, the work of this commission focusing on a student-based formula, uh, I think, is going to be one of the most outstanding pieces here. It was one of the first decisions we had to make. Are we doing it by district? Are we doing it by community? Or are we going to continue to do it by zip code? Uh, the second thing, I think, uh, third thing, actually, most important, though, is it's going to give our school boards predictability. They're going to know once this formula kick in, kicks in and after that first year, they're going to know if their weights change that are in this report, then their funding is going to change. As you know, our school boards are hamstrung from a sense uh, to provide a fiscally balanced budget in their districts, not knowing, having that uncertainty of what ultimately is going to be passed by the General Assembly. And while for the last four years we've been on time, we know that that doesn't always happen and we don't know if it's going to happen this year. We're in the middle of June, we have two weeks to go. Now, our districts need that predictability. We cannot expect them to function without that predictability. So we're very excited about that. But everyone working together with a product to get a product on the table and to work. And we took that extra week uh, because we wanted to make sure it was right. We wanted to make sure we all agreed. And, you know, you have an administration who's very aggressive in, in added uh, education funding. Uh, but at the end of the day, they were focused as well. Uh, Secretary Albright had worked in the Senate as a staffer for a commission member before. So when he became secretary, he was ramped up. Secretary Rivera testified in front of us as school superintendent in Lancaster. Um, we saw the challenges there of, uh, you know, 56 languages in one district. Uh, it was jaw-dropping. So we're very happy with that work. All right. And from here, I mean, PSBA is thrilled about it. We've looked at the, the recommendations thus far. We see that the stuff that we had actually promoted and the, the concepts we promoted, you guys basically have, have adopted that. It was fantastic. A very simple formula. Um, that I think we can all, all live with and that, that, that's fair and equitable. Um, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here is every one of your members yeah. need to engage in lobbying the members of the General Assembly. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, we have a Chairman Saylor who's going to be dropping uh, the bill in his committee this week, late this week, uh, and then Senator Smucker in the Senate is going to be dropping the bill. We need to get the bill whether it's a Senate bill or House bill, we need to get it to the other chambers and get a bill voted on and get it to the governor. And for that to happen, we need 102 in the House, 26 in the Senate, and, and certainly a governor who is very supportive of this. So right now, it's all hands on deck to lobby. You know, the first piece of this was the legislation to create the commission. Second piece was getting the commission up and running and organizing it. Third piece is go out and collect all the data to provide the report, which we do. And now our fourth piece is, is just as hard is all of us working together and that is getting it through the General Assembly and where folks can help us that are not elected officials are providing support for the facts and data which we collected from over 100 school districts in this Commonwealth and we need to now take our 11 month 12 month education public hearings public input public testimony um, a variety of groups that testified in front of us we need to crunch all that data crunch all that conversation and literally take weeks and months uh, to, to try to get our, our members of the House and the Senate convinced uh, to get ourselves 102 and 26. And that is, uh, it's, it's going to take yeoman's work, but uh, no one would have ever thought uh, when you form a commission in Harrisburg, it usually means an issue is going to die or it's been sent to a commission to die, and that was not the case here. So we all work together. We need everyone engaged in helping us sell the product that we produced. And that's, I think that's the best thing to close on. PSBA, we're going to get out to all our members, kind of a breakdown of the, the report. 
how it, you can read the report. It's going to be up hopefully soon, maybe by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, right now there's a synopsis, but I tell you what, um, we're going to be giving you all the information you need to go out and lobby and work your legislators on this issue. So this is a big deal. Thank you today for joining us right after the commission uh, report. Uh, this is a big deal. Thank well, John, you. thank you for all the data you were supportive of, all the information you as in, uh, yourself and your organization was supportive of. But we've given your membership one thing I think they need predictability, so we need their lobbying effort. Good deal. Thank okay. you. Okay.